Hello, my name is Tanya Doyle. I'm the Creative Arts and Screen Media Faculty Head and the Programme Director and the BA Honours in Film, TV and Screen Media Production. Um, Griffith College has been delivering programmes in Film, TV and Screen Media Production um, since 1996 and um, we're required to update our programmes every five years. So the current iteration of this programme or this programme has been running for the past three years in its current form. Um, I would like to tell you a little bit about the teaching team on the programme. So everybody who teaches on the programme is an industry professional. Um, so that means everybody's currently working in the industry as a practitioner in the, the discipline they're teaching. So we have people teaching directing, producing, cinematography, screenwriting, um, marketing, distribution, exhibition, post-production, sound, editing, cinematography. We also have a live TV studio and we teach live TV, TV studio production and content. Um, yeah, so everybody, I just need to reiterate the point that everybody teaching on the program is working uh, within the industry. So the course, <laughs> excuse me, there are only 25 learners um, enrolled in each year. So that's quite a small uh, group of students, but the course is very practical. And every year we have, uh, since the programme has been created, we've been nominated or selected, uh, shortlisted for the National Student Media Awards. And we have won a significant number of awards. Um, I'm going to show you now a list of awards for um, our, our international success, I suppose. So we have uh, students who graduate or maybe in their second or third year of the programme who apply for different awards and have been successful. Um, I just want to show you just a sample of some of the work. So these are stills and predominantly people are making live action content, um, but it's just as a wide variety of content produced. And I also want to say that at no point do we um, do we restrict you kind of from making work that you want to we do, that you want to make. We don't censor, but we do kind of enforce guidelines. You know, everything um, nothing can be uh, made with the intention to cause harm, distress or have hatred at the core of um, of the message that you're trying to communicate. Now what I'm going to do is talk to you about the course content. Um, <laughs> excuse me. The course itself is predominantly a practical program. It's 70% practical and 30% academic. So we have a variety of different ways of, of dealing with, with, with the content, you know. So it's there are two semesters, uh, both are 12 weeks and six weeks at the beginning of the first semester. Uh, we, we stop and we just come in and we check that everybody's doing OK. And in six, the last six weeks, um, again, we just check in that everybody's doing OK. So we try to have a variety of different assessments and projects. So we're trying to work with individual, you know, individual learning and, and group learning. Um, so there's informal lectures, there are formal academic lectures, there are boot camps, there are workshops. The majority of the content produced is project based. So you're set a brief or you can sometimes you can self select your brief or you can design your own brief. Um, once you set out what your intention is, we then work throughout the, the semester or the term to help you realize your goals. It's uh, very practically focused. There, there are a lot of practical classes um, and workshops. And as I'm saying, there are two different semesters. Semester one in the third year of the program is primarily about kind of solidifying your ideas uh, and, and working through your intention and your objective. And then semester two is either shooting or realizing your final project or your dissertation and, um, and distributing it, you know, getting it ready for, for, for the end of your screening. So there are 13 modules available. You're, there are mandatory module, modules and there are elective modules and you're required to complete eight of these modules to make up your uh, 60 credits. So there are 60 ETS credits in the third year of the programme. So you, um, sorry, there are five modules that are mandatory and then there are electives and uh, you have to choose three electives. There are two different streams. There's the technical stream and there's the storytelling stream. That's how we de define them now. In semester one, you're going to be making elective choice that choices that automatically put you into a stream. But if you feel in semester two, you want to take modules that are not part of that stream, we will uh, facilitate you wherever possible. But we just need to make sure that you're thinking about, you know, your end goal, what you're going to do when you finish college. And if at all we can facilitate you, we 100 percent will. OK, so the course content, the mandatory modules, it's advanced TV studio, uh, critical analysis, screen culture and theory marketing distribution and exhibition, 
research, ethics and audience, and a dissertation by practice. So working backwards, your dissertation by practice is the final project. It's worth 20 ETCS credits and um, you are required to make um, a, a substantial piece of work. And that you, the film that you make or the screen content that you create, it is not um, an individual piece. You'll work in a group, but your, your role, your function, your purpose, your intention, your desire, all of these things are individual. So you will have um, a supervisor that will help you in the practical element of this project. And you will also have an academic supervisor to help you um, realize the academic component or the essay element of the dissertation by practice. Research ethics and audience. Um, this module is there to, I suppose, help you look at research from like there's academic research and just practical filmmaking research. And again, looking at ethics and audience, it's your intention and your motivation when you're making a piece of work and how you're going to um, deal with contributors from an ethical ethical perspective. And then also looking at audience, how you're going to build audience, how you're going to treat your audience, um, and how you're how you're going to work with your audience in in serving them and giving them product or making content for them to receive. Marketing, distribution and exhibition. This module is designed so that you can create your work and it isn't only your immediate family and friends that get to see your work, that you can look at how you can make um, <laughs> different packages to distribute the content that you've made, how you can market it and how you can get it into festivals and um, different exhibition opportunities. And you are supported in doing that in the college. Critical analysis, screen culture and theory is an academic module where you look at, you critically analyze and you look at the contemporary role of screen culture within within society. An advanced TV studio is a module where you make content as live. So you are making um, TV shows um, and recording them as live. So that's everything from pre-production, production and post-production, although it's not editing, but it's graphics and titles. So that's the the the, um, the mandatory modules. Now the elective modules. So you can make, <laughs> excuse me, a selection from these modules. You need to choose three of these modules. So it's advanced digital editing and mastering, advanced production design, advanced producing for industry, advanced screenwriting, advanced visual effects and virtual realities, uh, cinematography for industry, multi-platform content direction, sound recording and production three. Now, if you are coming to these modules um, completely fresh and you've never been exposed to, let's say, sound recording uh, before or you have no awareness of digital editing and mastering, you may be required to do um, some supplementary learning. Um, but um, that will work on a case by case basis and there will be video content made available to you and your lecturers are very willing to help and support you. But also, um, if you have never before filmed anything or if you've never taken a cinematography module the third year elective of this program it may not be the ideal time to start because the, the module may be set um, at a level that is too high for you to achieve so we should um before people make their elective choices we will sit down and discuss the specific course content and to see you know if, if this is a good fit for you and for what you want to achieve long term um our concept uh, development modules so sorry so our elective choices there are three different strands that we're thinking about so there's concept development and storytelling just producing directing and screenwriting there's cinematography and editing alongside vfx there's production design image grading and mastering and there's audio post-production and that's for live and that's also live tv studio broadcast so we're kind of linking all of these things together so any of the specific electives that you're interested in will cover concept development and storytelling and then if you depending on which strand you want to go down and do you want to be a producer do you want to be a director do you want to be a, uh, you know a screenwriter um or do you want to focus predict specifically on the technical modules so depending on how you want to go we will sit down and discuss which are the best elective choices for you um, and then the dissertation by practice okay so the dissertation by, dissertation by practice module emphasizes project by based group learning alongside self-directed personal work to, cre to create a piece of work through experimentation um, and an iterative development and supervision. So as I said previously, you will have two supervisors for your dissertation. And um, there will be a practical component where you will make a short film and there will be a written academic essay. Okay, you can see samples of the work because when you complete the dissertation by practice or your final year graduate film, we have an end of year showcase. So we screen the work um, in a cinema. So we have a cinema event where you bring your cast and crew, and family and friends, and we celebrate the achievement of creating this work. And um, you can see that at uh, griffith.creative.ie. 
And then we also have an Instagram page where you can see all of the different activities that our learners get up to throughout the year. But if you do want to see samples of our student work, go to creative.griffith.ie. Um, so now I'm going to talk to you about field trips. So as I was saying, it's, pre it's predominantly a practical program and there are field trips. There are usually, you know, a minimum of two field trips a year. But where these field trips uh, take place can depend on the specific uh, arrangements that are available in any given year. So you, you could end up in a TV studio or a sound stage or a post-production facility. It really just depends on what's available in any given year. But we really do try and make um, arrangements where it's possible for, for our learners to get out into the world, to make contacts, to contact and to see how things happen outside of the um, of the educational sphere. Um, there is no uh, cost for students to, to 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 engage in this in this process. So if there's travel costs or if you're required to go um, anywhere, uh, we, we provide transport. So, yeah. OK, so then the study load. So 40 hours a week is really what we're asking people to engage in this program. There's approximately 20 hours of class a week. So some classes are delivered after 5 p.m. So the start time is 9 a.m. Classes can start at 9 a.m. and can run to 7 p.m. This will not happen every day, but usually we have classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We don't usually have classes on Friday. There may be makeup classes or guest speakers coming in on Fridays. Um, but in order to kind of free up a Friday so you can do recce and castings and rehearsals so you can work specifically on your projects. Um, sometimes maybe one or two evenings, there might be a later class. Um, attendance for these classes attendance is is monitored in every class and we have um, two, two ways of doing that lecturers either take attendance you know on a roll or we have an attendance app that um, the lecturer will, will activate when you come into the class because of the practical nature of this program we really recommend 80% um, attendance um, there is a variety of different assignments that you need to engage with when you're partaking in this course and the weighting of each assignment will depend on the on, on the specific module and all of the different elements that you know there might be there might be different assignments that you have to do in a given module so the the attendance is really important you need to come in you need to be aware of what's required and when it's required you'll be issued with a grid at the beginning of the term which will outline what what you need to do um, and when it needs to be delivered by, we aim for all learners to have a maximum, that's an absolute maximum of three assignments in any given week. Now, the assignments will vary in size. You know, it could be a one page um, uh, draft of a, of a program idea or it could be an academic essay that's 3000 words. But we will be very cognizant of the amount of work that you're allocated to do at any given time. OK, assignments. So we're very strict about the deadlines. Um, just because of the nature of the program and the industry that you're going to enter once you complete this program, you know, you have to be able to achieve deadlines. If for whatever reason um, you cannot submit an assignment, now unless there are extenuating circumstances, these don't come into play. So if there's a medical um, issue or if there are extenuating circumstances, we make allowances. But if there are, you know, if, if you just had not had the opportunity to complete the work required, um, or if you fail an assignment, you will be required to submit it again, but you will be capped at 40 percent. So regardless of the quality of the work that you submit, you, it will not be possible for you to achieve over 40 percent. Um, so if it's late or if it is a repeat, you will be capped at 40 percent. Um, OK. And then I just want to show you the different types of assignments. So you can see here that, like I was saying to you, that there are different weightings. So, you know, it could be like your written dissertation where 20 percent of it is going for, for a 5000 word essay. And then you still have to do a pitch and a presentation and you have to create production documentation. And these are the individual components. And then you have all the group elements where you have to promote your work. You have to go to this film screening at the end of the year. Um, you have to make the work and you have to do a pitch and presentation. So you can see here for every single module, like we were saying, advanced TV studio you have to make a studio portfolio and then you do independent studio practices where you'll have specific um, um, tasks that you have to carry out in the studio or the group assignment is to make the live tv broadcast um, so there's a variety of different assignments we have essays we have practical assignments we have individual assignments we have uh, presentations and then we have different group assignments so you can see this, this is established um, there's a clear outline for what every single module and what you'll be required to do and you see here, I just want to say in the advanced screenwriting, you have to kind of submit different drafts of the, of the assignments that are required. And again, these are for the electives. OK, 
yeah so it, the nature of the program is very varied so you can select whichever electives you want to work on but i would say although we are saying the program is just 20 contact hours and then you're expected to do other work on top of that be very um you know, uh, smart about scheduling, allocate yourself time, book facilities, book studios, you know, book rooms to have meetings and to to arrange uh, castings and scheduling and practice and test, test all of your ideas and your concepts. So they, all of this should be factored into both your study uh, timetable and also your submission, because you can see in all of the assignments, there's workbook that workbooks that you need to submit to show your process. OK, so even though we're in the final year of the programme, we're still showing and demonstrating our process. Equipment, there is professional equipment available through the college. Um, so there's broadcast standard audio equipment, uh, camera equipment, lighting equipment. We do recommend, however, that you bring a laptop. Now, we're not asking this laptop to be extremely high spec that you can you don't have to be able to edit or, you know, do graphics and titles on your laptop, but it's just that you have access to a laptop to write essays and to do assignments. And um, there is a booking procedure in in uh, place in the college. If you want to book out equipment, you need to do so at a minimum of a week in advance of when you need the equipment and you have to give a deposit of 50 euro. The 50 euro um, deposit is essentially an incentive for you to make sure that you can uh, if you say you're going to have it back on Monday afternoon at 2 p.m., you have it back on Monday afternoon at 2 p.m. If you don't have it back on time, um, you are you face the possibility of losing that 50 euro deposit. Because if let's say I take out the equipment and I say I'll have it back on Monday at 2 p.m. and I finished my shoot and I'm very tired, and I just couldn't be bothered bringing it back. And then the person next to me, um, has you know their shoot they've been working on it for six weeks and they have it set up and they need to go and to shoot on Monday at 3 p.m. and the equipment is not back in time, it's going to have a knock on effect. So the deposit system is in place to incentivize you to bring it back on time and to just have a bit of respect for your colleagues. Um, that's the booking procedure. Portable hard drives. We also recommend that with your laptop you have a portable hard drive maybe some noise cancelling headphones, because when there are 25 people in the lab working on, you know, maybe editing some video, it's very helpful to have noise cancelling headphones. And um, the equipment, the cameras that we're using, if you want to look them up, right, the Sony FX6 and FS7. Software packages that we're using are Avid Media Composer, Adobe Suite. We also use Maya if you take the elective in, um, in VFX. There are material costs in the production design module um, and Again, if you go through the booking procedure, you can book uh, cameras and you can book some of the equipment for the production design module, but not all of it. So, you know, we don't have uh, we we have some um, excuse me, we have some boards and we have mats, but, you know, things like paper and pencils. We don't have those. So we the, the, the material costs, they're not high, but there are costs, you know, and it's, it's usually uh, foam board, paper and pencils. How do you come prepared for this program? All I would say is bring ideas, bring ideas. If you're looking for equipment, we have it. If you need space to work, we have it. Computers, we have it. But ideas, if you bring an idea, now it could just be a nascent stage, a very early idea, and you want to develop it and you want it to become something that you're very proud of at the end, or you know, you, you want to write a script or you want to develop your cinematography skills, bring ideas um, to the program with you. And then the, we, your, your the lecturer team and your staff and your classmates can help you develop these ideas. Um, jobs within the industry. So within the program, there is an internship. Um, oh, excuse me, there's a work placement. There's a work placement that sometimes has left to an internship, led to an internship. The work placement is in year two of the program. So learners on this BA in film, TV, screen media production program do engage in a work placement in year two of the program. Now, that said, so as a result of that, there are a lot of industry links. And as I also mentioned, all of the lecturing team on the program are working in industry. And some of them have brought learners out on work experience placement and have helped them develop um, longer term work placements. You know, if you're if you are very keen in sound recording or you have an interest in post-production editing and you express this to your lecturer and you demonstrate your willingness to learn, they may be able to facilitate you. However, the formal work placement takes place on this program in year two of the program. Um, that said, if people find work experience or work placement, we will do everything we can to accommodate you given the schedule. Um, part-time work. The vast majority of learners on this program engage in part-time work. 
um, evenings after 7 p.m., weekends, um, and we're, we're aware of that. So that's why we say there are 20 contact hours, and but we expect an additional 20 hours from the learner in the week. So that's a 40 hour week um, so that you can complete all of your college work and meet your college requirements. And still, it is possible to take up a part time job. That said, when, you know, there are crunch points at the very end of the term or the end of the first semester, your your workload may be heavier than anticipated. So just to factor that in and that you may need to take some time off work if you if you have not, you know, shot your project in time. And um, experiences, the experience of other KPC students. So last year was the first time that we had a student from your program on our course, uh, Kina. Tina is pictured here. She she won an award on the program. She basically won student of the year because she was coming in and um, she had a lot of practical skills. She was, you know, she got on very well with the group. She did really well and she won student of the year. So, yeah, it was a great success. And this year we have two other learners on the program who are doing excellently well. And um, hopefully we will we'll ha um, have the opportunity to welcome some more of you guys. Um, unique selling points of the program. OK, so. I think the unique selling point of this program is the practical nature of the program, the variety of uh, projects that you are exposed to and you have the opportunity to learn from industry practitioners. So it's a very industry focused program. There's scope to help you realize your ideas. So you are at the center of this program, but you need to come with ideas and you need to kind of have some you know, everything. Everybody is learning. So you need to have some idea of where you want to go longer term. Um. Is there a portfolio for the admission of this program? No, there is not. You're there, so there is no uh, need for a portfolio. OK, so if you have any other questions or if you have any other concerns, please feel free to contact me. My email address is Tanya, T-A-N-Y-A dot Doyle at Griffith.ie. And I will be very happy to answer any of your questions. OK, thank you. Bye.